what's up? It is Sunday, uh, October 23rd, 2016, and this is Sonic Roadkill, um, sort of your AM version of the weekly news and current events program here on Random Access Televo. Oh my goodness, I don't even call it that anymore, but whatever. Um, here on this YouTube channel here um, with music. Right now we are listening to Tubular Bells, aka the Exorcist theme. It is not yet the Halloween episode. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be loungewear or a costume, but I mean a gloomy bear onesie. Um, but not yet the Halloween episode. We'll do that uh, coming out next week. But um, this week, the top stories the Chicago Cubs are in the World Series. I am super excited about that. Um, they deserve it. I was talking to a friend of mine at work who uh, is a huge, huge Mariners fan. I'm a big Mariners fan. Um, but, you know, he was saying it's been a long time. They have not been in the World Series since 1945. Um, Chicago fans kind of deserve it. Uh, just a short list. This is courtesy of Sports Center of the uh, things that did not exist when um, the last time the Cubs were in the World Series, which would be um, The National Basketball Association, NBA, color television, super glue, microwaves, satellites, hula hoops, barcodes, um, Alaska and Hawaii were not yet states, uh, the Dodgers existed but were not in LA, credit cards, diet soda, international air travel, um, we did not yet travel from country to country, Velcro, Barbie dolls, Mr. Potato Head, uh, pacemakers, uh, so that's sort of, I thought that was really interesting, uh, but yeah, no, good luck to them. <laughs> to say the least. Uh, the next big story I'm super excited about, actually, yeah, I'm just gonna go straight into this one. Uh, <laughs> Childish Gambino uh, will be playing Lando Calrissian in the upcoming uh, Han Solo movie project coming out 2018. This was officially tweeted or Instagram, I think, uh, from Disney. Uh, I am gonna play some Childish Gambino. You may also know him as Donald Glover from the TV show, uh, TV shows Community, currently of Atlanta, which he think, writes, produces, directs, does the soundtrack to, um, because the internet. Um, so I did see a, apparently it's been circulating for a while, a side-by-side -side comparison of, uh, of him wearing a sort of a blue, light blue collared shirt. Next, he had a mustache next to uh, Billy Dee Williams in Lando Calrissian. It was pretty close. I think it's, I think they did it made a good casting call. Um, and I kind of feel like a meme, perhaps, resulted in a casting decision. Y'all be string like a murder dog, and he still put it down like a family dog, yeah? I murdered some, murdered one, murder one, explain it all, uh, murdered some, we ain't gotta sing related, the same old love song, uh, cut a white girl with the same black gloves on, yeah, what you saying I guess, related to, um, related to nothing in particular, um, the United <laughs> Nations, so Nikki has declined to join me, but she is here, she's not feeling so well, but she's here. Um, so if you hear her snickering at my ridiculousness, that's what you're hearing. Um, she may also just be choosing not to be here because she, she doesn't want to be embarrassed by her dad on the internet, which I also don't think, but she is not going to be. I'm sorry, you're not going to be. Thank you. Um, so the United Nations has made Wonder Woman... Um, Ching Ching, um, and I don't know if anyone watches this, I know my dad, maybe if you're still watching, hi dad, um, knows I love Wonder Woman, um, has made Wonder Woman an honorary ambassador, um, some staff, staff members of the UNA, apparently 150 of them have, uh, protested, and by way of protested, um, they, silent protesters, I guess, they turned their back during the announcement, some of them held their fist up, 
in silent protest uh, of Wonder Woman's being made an honorary ambassador. And I thought, oh, that's really interesting. What kind of, you know, commercialization of the United Nations? That doesn't, that really sounds really bad. As it turns out, honorary ambassadorships um, are given to fictitious characters. Um, previous honorary ambassadors have been Winnie the Pooh, who in 1998 was the ambassador of friendship. Um, and in 2009, Tinkerbell was the ambassador of green. Um, of green. I, of green. I was not sure, right, I was not aware that green had any adversarial relationship with any particular countries that they needed, it needed, um, you know, someone to, to, to advocate for them, but there it is. Tinkerbell was the honorary ambassador of green. Um, so in light of that, so I think what, what they, they, they called Wonder Woman a sexualized cartoon character, which... Technically, she's a comic book character and a cartoon character, um, and but they're right. I mean, she wears a short skirt. She, you know, um, like many of them, she's often depicted in hyper exaggerated ways. Um, I don't know. So, in any event, uh, both Wonder Womans were there to. Uh, you know, speak on behalf. Linda Carter actually did ma make an announce, uh, did nod to the protesters and say, you know, you have a right to speak your voice too. But she hoped they got behind Wonder Woman. Ka -ching, ka -ching. Uh, no real clown uh, updates, uh, except people really want that to stop. There's my clown, uh, Hot Wheels. This is a later model that's a food truck. I don't know if you can see that little guy in there. I feel like he's really creepy. Um, and then this one is just another version. I'm pretty sure it was... I think this was probably also an ice cream truck, but I don't know, because the pink one up. Um, those are my uh, I'm going to put on something else. So I was hoping Nikki would join me and we could talk about the facts of life, which we've been watching quite a bit of. We were going to talk about... Um, I don't know. We've been watching the later seasons. I'm a bigger fan. Uh, it took me a while to warm up to Beverly Ann, but I did. Um, I feel like they're pretty funny. The early seasons are pretty strong. Um, but a lot of kind of tear jerkers. A lot of a lot of a, a, a lot of very special moments. At the same time, I think what loses in the later up episodes is that the characters don't feel like themselves. They go for the laugh instead of how they would really be. I am actually, I, even though it's not the Halloween episode, I'm going to debut the new Misfits. This is Friday the 13th. Nightmare on Elm Street is another song on this album. Laser Eye and Mad Monster Party. I, I think I'm actually going to play Laser Eye and I will debut the actual title track Friday the 13th and the back of track on Elm Street. So there's, I don't know, there's cover art and back cover art. <laughs> I got the Jason Splatter vinyl. There's also a red and green Freddy Splatter vinyl. Um, I'm about maybe five minutes in for this episode. Uh, uh, facts of life. Uh, the early episodes are kind of tearjerker as Joe, and every episode, Joe is in tears. Oh, Mrs. Garrett. Um, but in the later episodes, they don't really feel like themselves going to go for the last, but I think they do get the last. The box set complete season currently going for 90 bucks on Amazon. I wouldn't pay that much. I think I'll let you know if it's going for less. Um, I've been pretty upfront. I think because I do play copyrighted music, I can't monetize these videos, but I am going to... I am an Amazon affiliate, so I will be putting up links. I will put a link to that one if you're interested. If I can find it for cheaper, if it turns out cheaper, I will definitely link to that. Um, so that was Facts of Life in Gossip Girl News. We spotted uh, <laughs> Chase Crawford has been arrested in and out of Us Weekly uh, for, shockingly, marijuana possession. 31 years old, it says. Oh, it actually says 2010, so that's not even new news. They're just running. All right, Us Weekly, thanks for... Anyway, 
uh, do the Gossip Girl box set. That is worth it. Last, when we purchased this, it was on sale and it was definitely worth the price. I will check and see if it still is that price. Um, uh, in political campaign news, I got my official ballot. I'm super excited about that. Voters can Oh, also, us, also Gossip Girl News, I have to find it. Not really Gossip Girl News. Blake Lively has no baby, I think I already announced that. I think there's a picture in here, but it's probably also old. Oh, um, Rocky Arts is show, we'll get to that in a second. Um, in, important political news, uh, time to vote, kids, time to vote. Uh, Billy Bush was suspended from the Today uh, Show. Steve Brewing Pickens uh, suggested in Forbes magazine, I guess in 2014, that Hillary, Hillary Clinton is perhaps richer than Donald Trump, which was an interesting assertion, just because the media keeps accusing uh, the Trump campaign, keeps accusing the media of being biased. I think I want to um, offer all the news uh, on both sides. Although, there is the bias, just not to, just to ignore it. WikiLeaks, I actually have no idea how it relates to WikiLeaks. There was a video released by a man named James O'Keefe. People keep um, rushing to point out that he, the videos he posts are often doctored and edited. I will say, as far as I know, I watched the, this video, short video. It was not doctored or edited. Um... But he was the one responsible, I think, for uploading it. A video of a man named Scott Povel, who uh, is a former... I can't even remember the names of the packs. Like, they have names. Super packs, packs, whatever they do. Um, he is the... Uh, he worked for them. He was on, caught on tape saying, um, well, here's how you could bust people across state lines and change license plates. Here's how you could incite violence at Trump rallies as... Um, Clinton and Democratic National Committee staffers have rushed to point out, um, well, no one's done that. They just He just suggested that could be done. That sounds familiar. Um, and he has been fired. Nonetheless, it, it, you know, sleaze all around, and that's disappointing. But, um, uh, so that's sort of the news on that. We are listening to the Rocky Horror Picture Show soundtrack. Rocky Horror was uh, done on TV. Apparently it was a mess. Tim Curry did play the... Oh, that's what I should have played. I should have played I Do The Rock um, next time. Uh, Tim Curry played the announcer. Apparently stunt casting didn't do too well. Um, I guess I'll mention the deep... Oh, other political news. Weird Al and Eminem separately, not together, though that would be awesome, um, have uploaded videos sort of about the campaign, They're, so check those out, Green Day, 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 Green sort of, I guess, gave a sh not shout out, a sh threw shade at Jay-Z saying, you know, how come you never came or called about uh, Cam being robbed and blah, blah, blah. And then apparently in page six in the Daily News, it came out that uh, Jay-Z, apparently a spokesperson close to the situation, says that Jay-Z can actually can't stand Kanye. And that was all just about money, that the, all the collaborations and that basically he thinks he's an eccentric and can't really stand him, and they were never that close. Um, so we'll see where that goes. I like Kanye, but I see, I, I see how he could be fun in small bursts, but uh, uh, a a bit much. Um, Kanye has also said that if Frank Ocean doesn't is not nominated a Grammy, and just because I'm talking about Kanye, I will play Taylor Swift. Um, who will probably be happy to hear that Kanye has said that he will not be attending the Grammys if Frank Ocean is 
not nominated. Frank Ocean, of course, had, has, did not submit for consideration. The consideration filing date has passed. Didn't con did not uh, submit Blonde or the visual album. Wait, are those the same? I don't know. Whatever. Didn't submit anything that would have been eligible. Um, so Kanye apparently will not be going to the Grammys because it doesn't sound like they're going to be nominated again. Um, oh, I was hoping you would talk about... Where did... Do you have a ghost? Ghost. Uh, okay. Uh, probably time to start packing up for you. Um, and I'm going to do the final segment probably of the show. Um, so, my ghost costume idea is not going to work for a number of reasons. Um, one, you can't wear masks anymore. Things covering your, up your face. Um, two, I don't, we don't have an old sheet. I don't want to buy a sheet. Just to, that, that, that defeats the purpose of the ghost. So, I don't think I'm doing that this year. I did want to give a shout out. Did you want to give a shout oh, out? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a shout out to Ghost. Uh, and Italian mother's, uh, book. I thought you said goats. Goats. <laughs> goats. Um, this final segment is called Belated Birthday Gift. It's called the Belated Birthday Gift because these are gifts that I will be giving to my mom because I didn't know um, Archie never got to love Archie. This book just came out. This is the reason they were belated because I was waiting for this to come out and it was on back order and it is out. It's the new book about the kids in the hall called This Book is About the Kids in the Hall. Uh, so Great. I will be putting a link to that on Amazon. You can go ahead and order that. I would say, you know, support your local business store. Business store. Book store. But I think we all know. We all buy lots of things on Amazon. Or at least look or whatever. So I will be putting those links. Um, you are still things. It does help me out if you use these uh, or not. These kind of books, I do not believe they're available on Amazon. But who knows? Um, some vintage comic books that some binder clips that you can get on Amazon. These ones have cute little faces on them. Um, and said, oh, DDoS attack on Friday. Um, three DDoS attacks on an uh, internet hub. Um, so a number of websites went down. So what was interesting was they didn't just attack one website. They attacked sort of a hub that allows other internet sites to communicate basically by turning the websites that we use with words and letters into strings of numbers. Um, we attacked them three times at 9 o'clock, at noon, and in the morning, 9, noon, and then again at 5 in the evening. Um, so that was pretty significant. Um, significant portions of the internet were down. Um, why am I? Lost Boys. Alright, I'm going to have to close out with a song. Diamond Brother, Kanye, Wonder Woman, goes. Save that for next time, save that for next time. Uh, yes, okay, this has been your Sunday AM edition of uh, what is this show called? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, any any suggestions for the closing song? Anything at all? Oh, should I play some fun? Fun? Sure. Yes. This isn't even the right wallet. Nice. Oh, wallet for what? Money. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is my old wallet. It doesn't matter which one's the right one, because neither of them have more than 10 cents in them. <laughs> right on. Okay. Um, I do want to talk about my dark man. Uh, oh. Man, I wish this channel was still in 3D. <laughs> Alright, so that was my... I finished kissing my dad And now I head back to Thinking about where I've been Good. Say it again Say it again Uh-huh Oh, good Where was it?
Would you let me know? Back down.